Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's Two Minute Tuesday we're going to be going back to a video from a couple weeks ago where I was asked in the comments to show a little bit about visibility states with dynamic blocks. So if you missed the dynamic block video I'll put that link down below uh, but in today's video we're going to expand on that one and include a visibility state and different visibilities for our blocks. This is going to allow you to create more in-depth and useful dynamic blocks and and save you a lot of time in the long run from having to create multiple blocks for different types or styles allowing you to combine all of that into a single block that is dynamic let's get started <laughs> All right, so as I mentioned, we're going to be taking a look at a visibility state parameter in today's video. Again, if you haven't seen the original video where we create these two blocks with parameters like scale and rotate built in to make these blocks easy and smarter, uh, you're going to want to check those out. But today we're going to be modifying our block to add a visibility state, and that's this additional grip over here. Clicking it is going to give you multiple options. This can be used to change the different parameters as well as line work included in your block. And once we're finished going through the cycle once here, you're gonna be able to use this same method to add or remove parameters, line work, hatching from your blocks depending on the visibility state. So first, let's add the visibility parameter and a new visibility to this block over here that doesn't currently have one. Selecting the block and right clicking, choosing block editor is going to allow us to edit this block. And you can see here that the visibility box is grayed out. In order to activate this for our block, you're simply going to want to choose the action parameter by hitting this drop down here and going down and choosing visibility. This is going to allow us to place our visibility grip or toggle somewhere near our block. I tend to like to have them kind of to the top right here. Uh, but it depends on how you'd like it displayed and where your objects are to make a good decision as to where to put your grip. Clicking is going to ask you how many grips. You're going to want to leave it at the one default, so you've got this one default grip right here. This is going to have that visible when you select your block. Now, this visibility box here is active. By clicking the visibility states button, this is going to bring up the dialog box where we can rename and add a new visibility. So we're going to rename our existing and we're going to just call this uh, typical. Valve. And we're going to add in a new one and we can call this one say closed. Valve. And it's going to copy everything from our original one and put it into this one and then we can make changes from there. You can also ask it to hide all of the existing objects if you would like to create a completely new block that doesn't show any of the old objects and line work or you can show all of them in the new one. By just choosing leave it's not going to change anything. It's just going to be how it is currently in the new visibility state. You'll see this will make a little bit more sense later if it's a bit confusing for you right now. And we're going to rename this one actually to open. So we're going to have it look like it is currently when the valve is open. And we're going to hit OK. And now we're on the close. So you can see when I switch between the two, there's no difference currently. Similar to that other uh, example I had in the model space, we're simply going to add a hatch for ours just so you can see the difference between the two. So you can see this will symbolize a closed valve whereas the other one will symbolize an open valve. Now you can see anything we've added while active on the closed valve is visible. But if we go back to the open valve, those objects that we add while selected on closed are not added. They are by default left as hidden or not visible. Now you can change that by using these toggles over here. You can click the make invisible or make visible buttons to make a line, an object, a parameter hidden in a particular uh, visibility state. So if we wanted to go back to our closed valve and we actually didn't want our uh, hatch to be shown on this one, simply selecting it and hitting enter is going to remove it. 
In the same way, you can choose to make something visible and it's going to show you everything that's hidden and allow you to select them if you'd like. Hitting it and then hitting enter is going to bring it back onto this visibility state. Now I hope that makes sense, but basically if you've got one active, anything you draw in there is going to show up when you change that visibility to that particular one. To make that quick, you can use these buttons to hide and bring them back. As well, you can go to visibility states and create another state. You can create as many as you'd like and move them up and down using the toggles here. You can also set which one is going to be the current when you hit OK. And moving them up will have them uh, up higher on that list uh, when you hit the drop down. And the top one is typically the default. We're going to hit OK here and we're going to close and save our editor so you can see what's changed. So you can see nothing's changed at first, but now when we select our block and you hit the drop down and choose closed valve, you can see our valve now has the filled in hatch. Similar to this one over here, what we can do is select it and right click, go to the block editor, and you can see this one already has our two views. In this case, we're gonna add a third view and we're gonna create it from this typical. We're gonna say new, and we're gonna leave everything the same, and we're gonna say partial. And this is only gonna be partially or half filled. This is like a borehole or a target or a datum point uh, symbol, something along those lines. And now say we wanna hatch only a part of the circle, like that. You can see we have partial now in the top right under visibility dropdown. We have filled and we have typical. Closing and saving that is going to update the blocks in your drawing. And you can see now we've got the various drop downs available to us. Now I'm going to show you one last thing here. And we're going to go to this one over here, our valve, and we're going to block edit it. And I'm going to show you what happens if you choose to display none of the objects and how easy it is to have multiple blocks kind of built within a single dynamic block. Hitting the visibility state dialog box window again, we're going to create a new visibility state, but we're going to hide all existing objects in this state. And we can just call this one, let's say butterfly valve for now. We'll just call this one butterfly. And now when we hit OK, you can see this one has nothing drawn on it. Now, just for simplicity's sake, we can draw a valve really quick here. Something along the lines of this, let's say. Again, I'm just freehanding this for right now. And like that. Okay, let's just say this is our new valve. We placed it on zero, zero, zero. So now you can see we have three different visibilities here, all with different objects shown. And in the third one, it's a completely different block. But closing and saving our block, we now have these options available to us for all of the blocks we've made. Now, again, I, since I did this one quick, you'll see that this last butterfly valve example doesn't have our parameters. So you'd need to re-add the parameters that we learned in the last video. Again, check that out in the link down below. And then you'll gain the dynamic functionality of the scale and rotate parameters by simply adding them in the block editor to the butterfly visibility. I hope today's video helped get you started with visibility states within your dynamic blocks. As I mentioned before, if you guys would like to learn more about AutoCAD productivity, functions, workflows in general, don't forget to check out my AutoCAD course. I'll put a link to that up above as well as down below right now. It's discounted to viewers uh, using those links. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.